All right, we're, uh, Sherry's gonna show us how she likes to do her asparagus. She's gonna show us her little secrets. All right, so. Her secret is the most important one. She does showed it to me. <laughs> so Britt was like, you know, I hate it when my asparagus is tough. So the first thing you do after you get your asparagus out and you wash it, um, you are going to just kind of find where that natural snap is on the stalk. So this bottom piece, we're actually going to discard. So let's get to snapping. So you want me to help you with that? That sounds great. Okay. <laughs> Look, see, I can even snap it. There you go. Ah. So that way we're not eating any of the tough stringy parts. Um, Pretty cool, huh? On the asparagus, so. Yeah, normally I used to always just take a knife to it and just cut it where the whiteness kind of stopped. All right. She showed me a trick. It, so, so I can We teach, all learn. I can teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, right? I'm a dog. <laughs> all right, so um, after I do that, I go ahead and just kind of drizzle some extra virgin olive oil all over the asparagus. So, cup and a half. Yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, we like our uh, balsamic vinegar around here. So we're gonna do some balsamic vinegar as well. And uh, my kids are pretty used to um, a lot of seasoning, a lot of spices, a lot of flavor. Um, then I do, you know, Weatherbees doesn't have a garlic salt, so. That's because Weatherbees don't use salt. Well, I do. So we're just going to do just a little bit of this um, Larry's garlic parsley salt that I like. Okay. Um, then we also have some veggie roaster um, seasoning. And this is actually my most favorite seasoning out of the entire Weatherby Lime um, Island seasoning. So what I like to use this on, I love to use it on vegetables, um, fish. It's great to do like, a, I'll do kebabs chicken kebabs, pork kebabs with veggies, and this is brilliant um, with those items on the grill. She said brilliant. Yes. Remember that, brilliant. Brilliant. So, I'm gonna put some of this on here, and then I'm gonna use my favorite gadget in the kitchen, tongs. <laughs> Just kind of toss this around she a little bit. She don't want nothing underneath her fingernails. What's that? She didn't want nothing underneath her fingernails. Well, no. I gotta keep my nails nice and clean. Thing. It's totally a girl thing. I okay. So, once we get everything kind of tossed around and um, get the seasoning nice and wet with the olive oil and the balsamic vinegar, we are now ready to wrap it with some prosciutto. So, Britt and I have already um, separated out the prosciutto. It's kind of sticky um, and can get tricky at times. So normally I just take one piece of prosciutto to four, usually four to five stalks of asparagus. We're gonna do four, because these are actually extra thick. And you kind of want to get the, the base together and then just wrap your prosciutto around. Once you get the prosciutto wrapped around, we're gonna set it to the side and go to the next one. So these actually only take about 15 minutes on the grill. So um, I traditionally put these on the grill last um, once the, the meat is done or almost done. And it's resting. And it's resting, yes. Yeah, that's probably good with the ribs. Let's take the ribs off a little later. And while the ribs are resting, yes. you'll cook so. nice starters. So you just wrap it around and um, put it on a cutting board or in a glass baking dish to take out to the grill. And we are good to go. All right, you gonna do that one? Yeah. All right. You use a fork? Here you go. You wanna make a mess on your countertop? Hey. That's, what, that's what it's for, right? That's what it's for. I've done this with bacon. I've actually done it with this too, but I've already, you know, it's a man thing. Absolutely. So when you do your asparagus, what do you normally season it with? Oh, um, I like, uh, I use the island, I use the Southwest, and, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm, I, I really enjoy the bold and spicy on a lot of vegetables. Okay. Oh, uh, we're gonna have two extra stalks. It's all right. Okay. 
Yeah, this one fell apart, so there you go. Here, just do that with these two stalks, and uh, yep. maybe Alex will chomp, on, chomp away on this. He doesn't have this asparagus. Do you put it back in there? Let it um, yes. So we'll go ahead and remove the tongs, place it in here. Now they're just sitting down uh, the oil and the balsamic vinegar. Yep. So now we're ready to put this on the grill um, right when uh, the meat is rusting and it'll be done in about 15 minutes. So you want to go out and put it on the grill, um, turn it about halfway, um, around seven minutes, flip it. So we're not overcooking one side over the other. Okay, now what if I don't have the grill? I mean, how would I cook this in my oven? Um, you know, I've never done it in the oven if you want to know the truth. So okay. I would well, assume, I, if, would you I, think? If, if I were to do this, I would just get a cookie sheet, line it with foil, lay it out, put it in the oven on broil, yeah, on the top go. rack, because I do like the texture. I'm a big texture person. Uh -huh. um, you just like so, the little crunchies. Yes, I like the crunchies. Oh, you gotta have the crunchies. Yeah. Crunchies yeah. on everything. So I wouldn't, you know, I mean, you could obviously put it in maybe at 425 and then crank it up to broil, but I would put it straight in at broil, um, yeah. keep an eye on it, and then flip it so that we can kind of get the other side gotcha. on broil. Sounds wonderful. All right. All right. Sounds good.